Now, who's done a free walking tour somewhere else? Okay, great. So most of you will know how it works. Another day in Auckland and today I am going on a free walking tour uh, which I arranged for today. It starts at 10 a.m. It's about 9 right now and I am heading to the Britomart station. It's close by where the walk is going to start. So today I'm hoping to see some of the more historic stuff uh, and important stuff in Auckland that I saw when I was first here. So looking forward to that. Let's go. to do is get to my walking tour which starts at the ferry terminal I have a three minute walk to the ferry terminal and I still have about 25 minutes before the tour starts anyway so I'll be able to enjoy a little bit of the scenery down here and it looks like we've got one of the big cruise ships in today the sea princess not the original love boat but one of the boats that they call the love boat I think the original one was called the Pacific Princess back on the TV show that's a pretty big one but I don't see many people around so they must be either boarding or haven't disembarked yet so I think I found where we're supposed to meet, between the ferry terminal and right behind me, Queen's Wharf Village. And all I have to do is look for the person with the big yellow umbrella. I'm assuming that's not the big yellow umbrella, but there'll be someone here in about 10 minutes with one of those. Today is a perfect day for a walking tour, and I'm really glad that I did this today, obviously. Glad I brought my sunglasses because it was actually cloudy a little while ago, but it looks like those clouds are starting to move off right now. And hopefully we will have an amazing walking tour today. Hey, that's the group that I'm waiting for behind me. Let's go over and check it out. Hi right. there. Welcome along. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. It's an impressive looking camera oh, you've got you. there. <laughs> yeah. Kia ora. No mai hari mai tenakoto, tenakoto, tenakoto katoa. She was giving her introduction to the free walking tour. She was talking about how you give a donation at the end and she started explaining the Maori terms for it. And a Maori gentleman came up in the middle of the group and started criticizing her and telling her she was wrong. In the Maori language, we have a word for it and that is koha, means a contribution. Okay, all right. Which I don't think impressed her too much. Probably something he could have pulled her aside and told her privately instead of in front of a crowd. He was probably right, but still. Now, he was also a very smart man. Before he left Tahiti, he brought an interpreter with him, a priest called well, Tapaya, growing by 60,000 people a year. And that's why we're building uh, the park. In fact, that I've learned on the tour so far is that Auckland is the fourth most diverse city in the world. The first being London, then Toronto, then New York. So after those huge cities, a relatively small city like Auckland has uh, one of the most diverse populations in the world. Each of these older buildings were really hard at it. Uh, the first and second from the right is Kate Shepherd. She was the leader of the suffragette movement. New Zealand was the first country where women got the right to vote. Finland was number two. And it was 20 years after the women got the right to vote in New Zealand that they actually got the right to vote in Great Britain. Interesting. So anyway, they probably found this wood under the ground in the what's going on here today but it looks like we're getting some sort of a military flyover it looks like old bomber it's kind of neat to see right over here is Auckland University 
according to our guide. It's about $6,000 to go here. About another twelve to 14000 if you're going to stay in residence. Probably about the same as it costs in a lot of the Commonwealth countries. We're now walking down through a fitness trail around the university, which is really quite pretty. warm here. I had to take my, my hoodie off. Just learned an interesting, interesting fact. A few years ago, they suggested changing the flag of New Zealand to be less colonial with the Union Jack up at the top and the uh, Southern Cross on a blue background. They did some various designs. You know, some of them were ridiculous. Some of them were actually nice. They had the feather on them and the Kiwi bird, but it was rejected. I think 60 or 70% pe of people said they didn't want it. But they also did a survey of the Maori on what they thought of keeping the that original New Zealand flag. The guide asked us what we thought the percentage was, and I was going to say, you know, probably 80 or 90 percent of them wanted to change it, but it turned out that actually 80 percent of them didn't want to change it at all, and the reason for that is because the Maori, at least the ones who voted, think of the New Zealand flag as kind of a covenant between the Maori people and the British royal family where they came together and decided that New Zealand was going to be a country built on everybody being equal. And they saw that as a good thing, and that's why they decided to keep the flag. So I don't know where the flag debate is now, but just thought that was an interesting story. Um, we love them here in New Zealand. We also, well, we call them the New Zealand Christmas tree. So the flowers all over the top, and if they These are by far the most interesting trees I've ever seen. They grow to a certain height and they end up not being able to hold themselves up. So you'll see over here that they actually put these metal posts to prop up the branches. But they're really, really beautiful actually. I've never seen anything quite like it. I have to find out what they're called. The name of the tree is the Pohutukawa. So there you have it. Don't know the name of the tree or anything else on the tour? Just go to your guide. As you can tell by the big ship in the background, we are right back where we started. And that means that's the end of our Auckland free walking tour. Uh, we had a great time. Louise was our guide today from Auckland free walking tours. She was very, very informative and I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to our channel, we'd really love it if you do that. Just click the subscribe button there. And if you want to get notifications every time we post something new, just click on that bell and that'll put a notification right in your in your bar there. So thank you again from Auckland. Kia ora. Here is a monumental a monumental So, first up, who can handle a 3 minute history lesson? 3 minutes? Yeah. I've made it 3 minutes. It's quite easy.